Welcome to the episode of New OB! Mouse computer! Intel! Today I went up and picked up a new computer, mouse computer. And this is a laptop. I do not have a laptop yet, but now I do. Now the main reason I bought this is I'm going to be taking a trip to South Africa very soon to visit my family and I need a powerful computer to do some editing work. I will be going to South Africa in December and my sister is actually going to be getting married. One of my plans is to actually record the wedding with my very beautiful camera, but my camera does require a lot of processing power and normal laptops just won't cut it. So I'm going to be bringing my own just to make sure that I've got the processing power that I need. Now before picking this up, I went and took a look at a lot of computers. Now if you don't know Mouse Computers, it's basically a Japanese company that makes very good computers at very good prices. Now this computer is basically the best one I could actually purchase at a good price. Of course this isn't the best computer out there, there were better ones, but just going up one higher graphics card meant doubling the price of the system, and that is just too much for just a little bit more power in the graphic. It also had one with a better CPU, but it wasn't that much better, and yet again, the price of the system double. All in all, I made a very good purchase. I also looked at second-hand systems, and it was crazy because the second-hand systems were the same price as the new system. It never used to be like that, but it seems to be like that now. I do not know why, but the second-hand systems were heavily priced. It was crazy. So at the end, I got a brand new computer for basically a very good price. Mouse computers! The blade! Shrink! Slice! And open! Welcome! And open! Slide it out! There we go! That's everything that was in the box. Throw out the mouse computer manual with some free stuff. Well, 90 day free stuff, not sure really sure what this is. Not sure really care, probably will not use it. I probably don't even need the manual. In fact, I could probably throw this away, but I won't. And in this box, we have all the plugs and so on. Ports that are needed. Let's open this up and slice it. Go. So. Holy cow, this, this thing's freaking heavy. Then we got this one. Maybe this is actually the battery of the system. Yep, it looks like it's the battery of an actual computer. Very, very heavy. This cord over here, which plugs into the brick. So take this off, this one off. Quite big, which is nice, got a nice big screen. Unfortunately, with the bigger, when they're big like this, it is harder to transport. It's quite a heavy system, unfortunately, but it, I did get it at a very good price and it is a powerful computer. Warning, to avoid danger or suffocation, keep plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs. This bag is not a toy. Slide it out. Woohoo! Okay, so you can see there's some plastic on it, protecting it, which is pretty good. Go. Windows 8 version, you know, there's only really one version. If I chose Windows 7 with it, they would have just given me a stupid normal home premium edition, which means it would be all in Japanese and I wouldn't be able to change to English. Okay. So that's the back of the system. The bottom, the back, the side, other side. So you can see it does have an HDMI out. It also has two USB 3.0 ports, which is pretty good. And the front, mouse computers. Okay. Problems with it. Back. Well, look at that. So it's got this little touchpad, obviously, which you guys know, which is used for the mouse with the buttons. Buttons over here, you can see, uh, to turn off the sound. If you're on an airplane, which is pretty cool. Quite a nice speaker over here. Mouse computer logo. Obviously, Japanese and English keyboard. People turn on if I press this button. Yep. First time turning on the system. We go that size. I can see what's going on. You see now this. This pisses me off. I, I just want to use a computer. I don't want to make an account. For example, even with games on the PlayStation 4, if I buy a game and there's an online service, I will use it. But if I could make an account, I skip it and I don't use it. What is this, Microsoft? This is why no one likes Windows 8. You have to make a freaking account to use the computer. I'm not getting paid for this. I don't want to waste my time making an account. Now I feel like taking this computer and breaking it because I've got to do this. Why do you make me do this? I don't want to do this. I want to skip it. I can't go next. Why can't I go next, Microsoft? Why do I have to do this? If it starts up and I'm going to put in a freaking username or a password, I am going to be pissed off. So pissed off. I mean, no freaking password. On Windows 8.1 you have a username and password at the startup which I really really hate. I'm not sure why Microsoft forces you to do that. 
Uh, I don't want to lock my system. I want it to load up quickly. You can see it load up pretty quickly now. I found a way to disable that. So if you go on YouTube and you check that out, you can find a way to disable the password and username login. Unfortunately, when it does go into sleep mode, it does lock the system and you have to put the code in. I don't know how to get removed that. But the startup, there is a way to do it. And you don't have to download anything. You just have to go into a certain area and disable it. But it's not that easy to find. As you can see, it's basically running the whole time at 30 frames a second. I'm not sure if it can go higher than that, though. So yesterday, I showed you some benchmarks, but actually the score was incorrect. It was actually bad. I should have first updated the drivers and DirectX because it makes a massive difference. I thought it wouldn't, but it actually did. When I showed it yesterday, I was getting about 30 frames a second. But after doing the updates, I'm getting a lot, lot more. So I'm going to quickly show you that, and then I'm going to end the video. So you can see that it's really nice. It's running smooth very smoothly looks amazing so you can see now it's running at 130 frames a second yesterday it was only running at 30 frames a second so doing the update to the drivers makes a massive difference pretty interesting results you can see uh, the score 15010 which is better than gaming laptops because if you look at the gaming laptops I'm guessing this is the average is 7028 of course it's lower than high-end gaming PCs now the high-end gaming PC got to this score which is not double but it's it's quite a lot more than my score let's see what it says over here the GTX Titan so that's a very very powerful graphics card very happy with this PC is a mouse computer which is from Japan thanks for watching this episode of your beer don't forget to subscribe comment and thumb Successfully. There we go. Of course, after the end, she's still going to go into the cave. Actually, a very nice video. It's got some cool action, nice graphics. And there's a lot 